In today's video, we're looking at this upcoming rare April snowstorm to impact portions of the Midwest and on the Northeast. Before we could get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn our post notifications so you won't miss a single one of these uploads or live streams for the channel. Right now, we're looking at the latest GFS model and this is the 12Z. So as you can see, we're looking at around 12 p.m. of Sunday. We have a long line of snow across portions of the northern United States, Montana, North Dakota, and Minnesota. We also have a low pressure northeast of Minnesota in Canada right now. We even have some lingering rain showers over portions of Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, Kansas, Indiana, and Kentucky. Those will continue throughout the day as you head through uh, the overnight hours. And as you can see, we're seeing this low pressure forming around the Idaho area, more of eastern Idaho. This is going to move around a southeastward direction, and this snow is also going to move more southeast now into Colorado and uh, Nebraska, Kansas by the time it gets around uh, Monday of 6 p.m. Then reaching it to Tuesday of 12 a.m., you're seeing a lot of heavy snow over here in portions of Kansas, Nebraska, even now reaching into portions of Kansas City and Missouri and uh, even a, a little bit of Iowa there. That's now even more heading even a little bit more south now into portions of Illinois by the time you reach into 6 a.m. of Tuesday. Now, this is going to continue throughout the day of Tuesday and start moving in northeastward direction towards uh, around the Ohio Valley region and now uh, the northeast region here. You're now reaching into around 12 a.m. of Wednesday and you're starting to see some pretty heavy snowfall here in now portions of the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. It's now continuing to move northeast as you're reaching into around 6 a.m. of Wednesday and uh, now you're reaching into around 9 a.m. on Wednesday and that snowfall is really widespread uh, for the northern portions of the New England area and that should continue about a northeast direction as you can see there is some like effect snow there uh, by the time it gets around 3 p.m. of Wednesday and that should all move out of the region by the time it gets around 12 a.m. of Thursday. Here's the total snowfall according to the GFS model and just note that some of these regions especially in Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, and Ohio. Keep in mind that the surface temperatures are actually above around 35, even up to 40 degrees. So these snow totals are not going to be very accurate here. Uh, you're going to see way less than this, um, especially if you're in southern Missouri, southern Illinois, uh, southern Indiana, southern Kansas, even into northern Oklahoma, you're barely going to see any snow here. Uh, but once you get into the northern portions, uh, that's when you are getting to around uh, 32 and below. So just keep in mind that uh, if you do live in more of these southern portions, you will not see uh, much of accumulating snow. If you do see any accumulating, it will be most, mostly a dusting here. Uh, so... Right now, we're going to look at the uh, northwestern portion. You are seeing upwards, especially the mountain regions, up to 25 inches of snow. And that's in the uh, more mountainous regions, very high elevation regions. You're seeing up to 42 inches of snow. But more of those widespread pink regions, you're going to see upwards of a foot of snow or so. Now, as you reach into Nebraska here, you're going to see upwards of 3 to 4 inches of snow mostly in the western portions of nebraska and kansas you're also going to see around upwards of three to four inches of snow uh, most likely less than that if you live in the more southern portions but mostly around two to three inches inches of snow for mostly the northern portions of kansas there in missouri for more the northern portions where those temperatures are more below than the southern uh regions of missouri uh, you are going to see upwards of two to three inches of snow however the southern portions you are also going to see around uh, maybe one to two even rarely three inches of snow there uh, for illinois mostly more the northern portions are going to see the more snow of course uh, right now it's not showing much snow for the northern portions but the latest gfs model out today is showing this snowstorm actually heading a little more south uh, than expected so that means for mo more of the illinois region um, especially this whole region right here you're going to be seeing barely 
uh, anything here. As you are seeing, only around one to two inches of snow. And the surface temps over here for uh, this whole region right here, uh, you are seeing upwards of uh, 35 Fahrenheit plus. So you're seeing some very warm surface temperatures, meaning that this snow is, like an, is not going to accumulate at all that much. If you do see any accumulating snow, like I said, it's going to be a dusting pretty much it's not going to be very much at all but once you reach into the more northeastern regions this is when you see uh, this major snowfall because we are seeing much cooler temperatures up here you are seeing upwards of 23 inches of snow um, in more localized spots and as you can see in these widespread portions you are seeing up, up, upwards of uh, 16 to 17 inches of snow and in the peak regions you're seeing upwards of 7 to 8 inches of snow the blue regions more of the dark blue regions you're seeing upwards of three to five inches of snow so you're seeing some pretty major snowfall over here in portions of the northeast and even ohio here you're gonna see, you're gonna see a swath of seven to eight inches of snow but mostly you're gonna see upwards of three to four inches of snow there if you did enjoy the forecast on this rare april snowstorm be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel but anyways stay safe